What's up, YouTube? It's Chris. We're back. We're going to do some more Idea Maker goodness. Basically, what we're going to talk about today is helper disks. What is a helper disk and how do we use them? Uh, long story short, we're just going to have a large rectangular object, and let's say you're printing it and the corners keep peeling up. So you're like, man, what do I do? And you keep putting glue stick and blue tape. Skip all that. We can add what's called a helper disk, which is like a Mickey Mouse ear on the corners, I like to call them. You know, it kind of makes the most visual sense, but I'll show you here. So let's import a model, and we're going to import an LCD cover, which is a large rectangular object. And as we can see from the bottom view, we've got some sharp corners, and that can tend to, you know, warp up during print. Um, you, you know, you could do things like adding a brim, but that wastes a lot more material, so we have to do brim around the whole thing. It also adds more print time. Uh, but if we add just small discs to each corner, that will just keep the corners down because it doesn't tend to peel over here on these straight edges. It tends to peel at those corners. Uh, this happens a lot more with materials like ABS, with nylons, with polycarbonate. So this is good for you that are using that. So here's what we have to do. Uh, it's, it's an interesting step-by-step uh, -step procedure, but first we're going to go to File, and we're going to add standard primitives, and we're going to add a cylinder. Now our cylinder size, the radius, uh, 10 millimeters is a really good size. Um, if you have a larger object, you can try a little bit bigger, but 10 is a good starting point. Five millimeters would probably be fine for this print, but we're going to use larger so you can see it. The height should be a multiple of your layer height. Now you probably only need one about one layer height tall, but I'm going to go with one a little bit stronger because again, you can increase the height of this. So let's go to 0 0.4, which means this is going to be two layers tall. So a really nice, strong support corner. Segments don't matter. We'll call this helper disk. Why not? And we'll hit OK. And we're going to get a helper disk. Now we need to duplicate this. We have four corners, so we're going to right click on the object, hit duplicate, and we need three duplicates, which will give us four. Look at that. We have four helper disks. We're going to hit uh, the move tool. You can hit it up here at the top of the toolbar, or you can hit the hotkey for it. If you hover over things, this one says Shift Command M for me. I believe in uh, on a PC it's just Control M, and we're going to move each corner into place. And they don't have to be perfect; they just have to protect each corner from peeling up. So let's go ahead and move those into place. Boom. And then we're going to hit a Command A or Control A to select all. We're going to go to Model, and we're going to go ahead and merge selected models, and that'll combine it into one print. We're going to go to Start Slicing. And one of the things I've already done is I've already made an ABS helper profile. And how I did that was I went to my SKR ABS profile. And there's a setting we need to change in order for this to work correctly. We go to Other. Oh, yeah. Also, make sure you're not in simple mode when you first load it up. The first time you've ever done this, it might be in simple mode. Go to Advanced. Go to Other. And we're going to go ahead and Merge Internal Overlapping Parts. So again, this is still considered multiple objects, and Idea Maker is not an STL creating program. Uh, so it doesn't handle this as well as you think it might, but it does work really well. So you're gonna go ahead and merge the internal overlapping parts and hit save. And all I did was hit save as and make my ABS helper profile. But hit slice, and you'll see the magic we did. So preview. And now we have big old helper corners, so that will protect the corners from coming up. Again, not the best example because this part here is a faceplate. You'll end up having to cut these corners off. But it's no different than having a uh, large brim and having to cut the brim off. So, same kind of deal. And then as you see, this is just one homogenous thing. It is two layers tall because we set it for 0 0.4 millimeters. And yeah, there you go. You now have a build a disc helper, basically, to help your corners stay down on those difficult prints. Definitely better if you're doing a large print that has big corners on them. Uh, rounded corners tend to stay down better, uh, hence why that's usually a better design factor. So if you're into designing things, uh, try doing rounded corners. They won't uh, peel up as easily. But if you're having that issue with the corners popping up, this will be the easiest method to do that uh, in terms of accuracy and being able to get the biggest surface area to hold it down. That adds a lot of surface area. So again, I wouldn't use it on a faceplate like this because I'm going to have to cut this corner off with a chamfering tool. And it might not look the prettiest, but like say you're printing like something from Photos Mint and he's got a big rectangular base and the corners keep peeling up, this will keep your corners down. So hope that helps you guys out and uh, definitely stay tuned for more Idea Maker videos in the near future.